gaze yonder at the juveniles, it is to my understanding they are partaking in academic activities. The mere sight of such a youth causes an immediate and painful aggravation of my chronic indigestion. Fortunately, I am in possession of a most devious and quagmire-generating device, the likes of which I shall reveal to you after I complete this bizarre dance and shatter the laws of physics in a glorious and spectacular manner. I present to you now this aforementioned Soviet-made torture device, the likes of which so happens to be a simple book that appears to be several times larger than my own head. I also present to you now a word of caution. For if one should attempt to evaluate the contents of this document, he or she shall be immediately relocated to a most inhospitable and undesirable locale. I even went to the liberty of naming it in the likeness of my own self. I have titled it, The Enchanted and Drug-Induced Labyrinth that is under the ownership of Sir I am of hostile disposition. I can guarantee the location's intimidating nature, for even I, the structure's creator, am unable to enter said palace without losing control of my bowels' movements, in a loud and sloventous manner. Chem Chem the Cheerio to the detox clinic you shall go, a grand mess I will make on the floor, a smell so bad it will go the door. A biohazard suit, I shall need, because this room smells like pee 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 pee, this room smells like pee.